So, week two sees the start of the start as all the six qualifiers. We all love these. They're good races to get your horses in the big final at the last week of the season as well. So, let's take a look at this big field as everybody tries to get qualified early on. And the top one is Argyle, Fort Jim Murray, Timby Jules, Pontypool Racing, Hello, Dolly, Derek Hinton, Zodja Fidar, Damazafa, Darren Thompson, Golden Danger, Leon Van Rensburg, Indy Leaf, Carl Aragante, King Viking, Darren Howes, Record Breaker, Kevin Meenahan, Mighty Danny, Alex Cherry, Bella Easy, Daniel French, Ricky Ardo, James Follis, Exortius, Tam King, Highland Fred, David Robertson, Stained Class, Martin Leedham, Power Play, Kevin Meenahan, Futile Resistance, Daniel French, Holm Jabal, Jay Follis, Harry Potter's Toothbrush was the... Stu Gray one, and I missed the bottom one. That um, was bay over for Alex Cherry. So they're away and racing then. And they've only got eight flights to take in this intermediate distance, really, of two miles and two furlongs. So I'm sure this has probably got a field of two milers and two and a half miles, milers thrown in together. Get many specialists, two and a quarter milers. So it'll be interesting to see how the race pans out. And Highland Fred. He's the early leader as they get to the first of the flights and they're all safely over that one. And Highland Fred it is who's going to show the way to Bella Easy and Futile Resistance who are running together. Then comes Indy Leaf. Gap back to Argyle Fort as they take the second. And they're all safely over the second with Record Breaker. Just the back marker. Just out of shot. Stained Class is also towards the back. You can see him now. There is Record Breaker. The second of the Kevin Minahan horses. The other one is Power Play. Highland Frid is the leader. Futile Resistance is in second. Indy Leaf is in third. Then Bella Easy. And Argyle Fort Exertius is next. Then Hello Dolly and Tenby Jules. Ricciardo and Mighty Danny after that one. And Highland Fred skips over number three in the lead. Safely over that one as well. Kevin Minahan has got the back two at this stage. Highland Fred in front. Bella Easy and Futile Resistance are together. As they skip over number four. Oh, that one okay as well. The leader just about in shot. He's almost going too fast for the cameraman at this stage. The cameraman's trying to get all the horses in shot, isn't he? Doing a pretty good job of it as well. Uh, Highland Fred's in front from Bella Easy and Futile Resistance. And Indy Leaf is fourth. In Argyle, Fort and Exertius. Hello, Dolly. Eric Hinton also hasn't managed to get to the lead. And King Viking and Tenby Jules are together. Ricciardo and Zoji Fada Damafaza stay in class after that one. And something is now happening which happened to Doug many seasons ago. And I said, What happened to me one day? I've just been delivering a nice cup of coffee. And that's pretty good. And Highland Fred's the leader. Doug got cakes and all sorts on them commentary he was doing, I'll settle for the coffee, that's not enough for me, and Highland Fred's in the lead, Bella is his second, Futile Resistance is third, Let's skip over that one, and Bella is now just about taking it up, Highland Fred is second, Futile Resistance, Exertius, then Indy Leaf and Hello Dolly, Argyle Forts after that one, and King Viking and Tenby Jules, Ricciardo is next, and Holm Jibal, a stable companion going with it, but they've only got less than five furlongs to race now then, race beginning to heat up, not sure how many qualify for the final, it's the first four probably, but it's Highland Fred in the lead, Bella Easy is second, Futile Resistance is third, they've, they've been up there all the way really, then comes Indy Leaf and Argyle Fort, Exertius is still there, then Hello Dolly, a little bit of a gap back to Zodji Fada, Damazafa, then Holm Jibal, Bay over Tembi Jules, they're pretty well strung out now, and Highland Fred for David Robertson, his horses are difficult to pass, and he's clear by about three, Argyle Fort coming down to throw down a challenge, Exertius is next, then then comes Indy Leaf, they're down towards the final two flights and the final two furlongs. And over the second last they go, they're not going to get to this Highland Fred, I don't think. And he skips over the last one, he skips over the others, he's going to win this one pretty easily. Exertius though is going to exert a little bit of pressure on him. And he's coming through to challenge, Tom King's having a big day already, down towards the final flight and they go. Highland Fred's over it in front, here comes Exertius, it's between these two. Exertius on the outside trying to close, and Exertius is beginning to get up. Exertius is going to steal this one, and Exertius has stolen the race from Highland and Fred Exertius wins it. Argyle Fort might have actually got up to be second. And where's this Tam King come from? Exertius, Tam King, another winner. Argyle Fort for Jim Murray second. Highland Fred, David Robertson third. Indy Leaf for Carl Aragante fourth. And Holm Jibal 
for James Follis was fifth. Quite a few of those never got into it at all. And Harlan Fred was a little bit unlucky.